So I have this problem with the kitty, right? She likes to climb up my legs. She does. Oh, no, now she wants to complain in the bedroom. Whatever. Anyway, I'm making a coffee, and uh, it's uh, Monday morning, afternoon, whatever. I think it's in the afternoon. What are you doing, kitten? I don't really like having her in here because there's too much stuff that she can get in trouble with. Yes. Meow. I'm a kitten. I'm a kitten. I'm a kitten. But uh, there you go. She's pretty good at climbing up things, and yep, she's such a little turd. Look at her. Look at her. I don't like cameras. I don't like cameras. No. Nah. And welcome to my vlog. Well, today we got to work from four till midnight. Really, Just gotta get involved. She really destroyed this box even more. Oh. She said. I love her little learning brain. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. But, uh, yeah, I'm making myself a coffee right now. I'm trying to wake up. It's like I said, it's about 2.30 in the afternoon or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's 2.30 in the afternoon. And, uh, we got dumped on again last night. You can tell the uh, G6 is covered pretty good. Trans Am's not covered enough. Oreo keeps following me around. I have no idea if we had mail today, but looks like somebody did come to the mailbox. So either we got bills, or maybe I got my e-juice from Yellick. I don't know. But we'll have to take a look and find it. Look at her. Everywhere I go, she just follows me around. But then she climbs up my leg and that hurts like hell. Fuck, my coffee never happened. Okay, I'm gonna have to put some water. I'm low on water. I put some water in this thing. Then I'm gonna go outside and check the mail. So, I'll be back. Oh, for frig's sakes, another smartwatch on the market, eh? Yeah, CNET showing the Omate True Smart. Literally, this is not one of those watches like the Galaxy Gear or the Pebble where you need to hook it up to your phone. This thing is a fully functional phone, fully functional Android device. It's no different than my cell phone except for its size and you wear it on your wrist. It's water resistant. It's got a 720p camera right there. That's a 720p camera and uh, it comes in uh, four or eight gig models and you can use Google Play on it to install apps. That's friggin sweet. Now, of course, over at Deal Extreme, they got a whole bunch of smartwatches too, but really, they've been out there for a while, those smartwatches. And I probably wouldn't buy one from them because I don't know if it would work with my carrier over here, you know? That's why I would look at this one here, the Omate True Smart. But I don't know, I want to wait and see what they come out with because, you know, the technology's there. You just got to wait to see what they produce with it. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Frig it. Alrighty people, it's time to get the frig out of here. Currently it's 3.30. Get then sleeping like a popple. And Oreo's probably down here eating her food. Little fucker found out a way how to get in there and get the food. So, um, where is Oreo? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Thought he disappeared on me. Just gonna throw some shit in the fridge. And we gotta head off to work. Car is running, covered in snow. Gotta clean it off. Then we gotta go, go, go. Hopefully I can clear the end of my driveway. Neighbor has about 5,200 fucking cars next door. So, makes it a pain in the ass to leave, but we'll figure it out. I almost stepped on the cat, for sakes. But, uh, yeah, let's get the shit out of here. Head off to work. Tonight I'll clean the litter box when I come home. Because, uh, looks like she's been in there a couple times. Hey, good time. Oh, she thinks she's people. She's scratching. Anyway, I gotta go. So... Let's get out of here. Oh, for frig's sakes, it's 20 to 4, which means I'm going to hit a lot of these yellow machines that are going to turn on their lights and make me stop. What do we think? Do you think we can beat it? Oh, yeah. No, no dropping off kids there. Got one going off behind me, but uh, that's about it. Oh, man. I can't wait for my neighbor to quit having fucking everybody over during the day. Like got trucks parked in front of my house, trucks parked in front of his house, all on the side of the road. It makes it like, turns that road into a one lane because people don't pull over enough. Wait till the snow banks build up. Like, I don't know what the hell he's doing. Maybe he's remodeling the house to get more money for it or something. I don't know. But uh, it's really hard to get out of the driveway when you can't see if a car is coming because they got a great big Ford F-350 sitting there on the side of the road. Completely cocking over your visibility. 
yeah, it's not great, but ah well, whatever. Well, hopefully today's an easy going day. Hopefully this week's an easy going week like it was last week. Last week every day was nice and light. It wasn't too busy, it wasn't too crazy, it was perfect. But then again, we're short staffed this week, which sucks. Uh, we got, uh, well, we got that one girl that's off until her doctor says she can come back to work. Conveniently, won't be until after Christmas, I can guarantee you. Which means it'll be me and the next up, whoever's one tier above her, which will probably be, I don't know who it is. It'll be me, Bruce, me, Bruce, and uh, I think Bob working. Christmas Day, I don't know, but this year, last year Boxing Day was a full staff day, they had all of us in to work it, and uh, it kind of sucked, like, because there wasn't enough work, like, who the fuck calls them Boxing Day, right? So it was pretty dead last year, Christmas Day and Boxing Day was pretty friggin' dead. I think last year at Christmas, I did one call, and it was basically for a username and password just because Buddy got a router and needed uh, their username and password so they could set it up and that was about it. That, that, that was all I got last year. And they're paying me like 70, 80 bucks an hour to sit there. And this year it's gonna be pretty much the same. And I looked at it and yep, it's true. Both uh, Christmas, New Year's, uh, Boxing Day and the day after New Year's because we get that because they don't give us Remembrance Day off. They took away, they took away Remembrance Day and they gave us uh, the day after New Year's because some people next door like to party really hard. So they figured out we'll give them the day after New Year's as a holiday. But for us it's a full staff day which means we don't actually get it off. But we do get paid t uh, double time and a half. So it's going to make for a nice great big fat paycheck in January which will be very welcome. I don't mind that one bit. I better not take the scenic route today, people. Oh man, what a day. I'm gonna have to, I keep saying it and I never do it. But tonight, maybe after work, I'll have to go out in the garage and play Tetris and move my motorbike, move my push mower, get the snowblower to the front of the garage and then uh, maybe move the tractors around some more just so I can have a lot of room in the front. Because I don't think I'll be using my tractor this winter. I don't have chains on the tires. I have some tire chains at home that were given to me, but they're way too small. They don't go around the tire. They'll fit on the blower, but they won't fit on the well. They'll fit on the blower if I remove a couple links, I guess. I don't know if you can adjust those. But they definitely will not fit on the, on the mower. The tires are just too big in the ass end. So, well, that's no good, but uh, Rex and a few others were telling me that Princess Auto, for like 30 bucks, they sell the tire chains for my tractor, well, for my tire size anyway. And I could easily go pick those up, toss them onto the tractor, and then have the ability to romp in the snow. But, I don't know if I want to go snow romping, so... I might just let the tractor sit until spring and then maybe Rex and I can take it up those, those back hills on my house again or something, who knows. What's funny is right now is the first time I've touched my vape all day and I've been up since two. I'm telling you, like, it's a completely different sensation vaping. You'll start off, you'll be on it really hard, you'll be hitting it really hard and then gradually you just, you'll use it, but you'll only use it when you get a nicotine craving and then you'll hit it. Or if you're just sitting around, you're bored out of your mind and you see it. But that's like smoking cigarettes, right? When you're sitting around the house and you're bored watching TV, the first thing you're gonna do is reach for that pack, pull out a dart, fire it up, and start hitting it. Well, the same applies for the vape, except for, oh my God, people. Did you see that? Bring an eco-ped in the winter. Talk about too lazy to walk anywhere. That guy's gonna take a fucking spill unless he's got winter tires on that thing somehow. It's currently minus two out, so it's not exactly cold. So, you might be all right as far as the battery goes, because normally lithium ion and lithium polymer, they don't, guy riding his pedal bike on the side of the road. Uh, normally lithium ion and lithium polymer, they don't enjoy the cold, and you can shorten the life expectancy of the battery by using them in extreme cold situations. So, if anything, that bike's probably just, eh. Then again, like I said, it's not really that cold out, so it might be all right, it might not, who knows. 
be a seal though if he gets like halfway to his destination and his freaking alarm goes off and he's got to pedal that fucking thing. So you can imagine pedaling with eco pets is probably not the most comfortable thing in the world. But yeah, like Pug One was saying with his iPhone, he had a bunch of power and then all of a sudden it was cold out and he was outside working in the cold and he had his phone on him and next thing you know he had no juice left. And uh, that applies to a lot of lithium polymer batteries because the Apple iPhones have lithium polymer batteries. They don't like running cold and when they get too cold they will not produce the right charge. Just take your time. Just take your time. Yeah, I think I'm almost done Grand Theft Auto 5. We're uh, setting up for the United Depository run now. I uh, just, just got to find three more gauntlet cars, which are like the Ford Mustang looking cars, I think. They could also be the uh, Chevy Camaro front end looking Dodge Challenger rear end looking cars. Holy fuck, really, bud? I could have went like 70 hundred times. Yeah, that's right, 70 hundred times. It's like 70. Now let's see if these asshole nitwits can actually park today or do I gotta fucking invent a parking spot? Ah, oh, traction. Who needs it? I'm gonna throw my car right in the frig here. And when I get out, I'm gonna do like everybody else did and make my wipers stand up on end. Yeah, buddy. So some of you asked me if I was going to get the cat declawed. I am getting the cat declawed because she's going to be an indoor cat. She's not going to get out unless she escapes. But if she's anything like Felix, I remember when Felix used to escape all the time, uh, he didn't go too far. He'd run out the door, stand on the cement and go, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, and then come back to the door. So if I keep her inside all the time, make her afraid of the outside, and uh, she does get out, she'll want right back in right away. So not a problem indeed. But uh, I was reading online about getting your cat spayed and apparently you don't have to wait the full six months. You can apparently do it earlier and a lot of vets are actually recommending you do it earlier before the cat goes into heat because if the cat does go into heat, it could cause the cat to have temperamental issues, especially if she can't get her friggin' shit stuffed, you know? So it could cause the cat to go all, all haywire and stuff. So I'm gonna to talk to my vet and uh, see about when we can get her spayed. Like she's only two months old now, because she was born October 8th. So November 8th is one month, December 8th is two months. So she's two months old now. Uh, I'm gonna see if we can do it at the four month mark, maybe in February, bring her in, get her declawed, get her, get her friggin' just all spayed up so she can't have babies and won't go into heat. Because there's nothing more fucking annoying than a female cat in heat. All they shit. All they do is meh, meh, meh. It's like, oh God. Forget about sleeping when that happens because it's not gonna happen. So we'll get her all spayed up and then she'll be a lovey-dovey little kitten. Well, if Oreo would let her eat her food, she might accidentally grow some freaking weight. Son of a bitchin' dog. But uh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna get her all friggin' fixed up and stuff and she'll be awesomer than Frigg and it'll be cute and maybe one day she'll talk, who knows. Right now she doesn't really say much, she just kinda stares at the camera. But she is little, so she's still a baby. But anyway, people, I'm gonna head her inside and carry on with the shift or at least get the shift started. It's currently 10 to four, so I'm gonna go grab some vape and then head her inside and make a coffee and things. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Peace the Frigg out. Oh, for frig six, we got dumped on while I was working. Yeah. All right, let's go home and uh, see how the kitten's doing. And we might have to go out to the garage and get that blower to the front because I have a feeling tomorrow I'm going to put her to work. First time of the year. Frig yeah. Got quite the snow drifts around here. Let me tell you a little something about that. Nothing the G6 can't handle. Frig yeah. All right, well, let's go inside and see what's going on with kitten and puppy. With kitten and puppy. Came inside, couldn't find the cat. She was, well, she's right here now. She's probably gonna use the litter box. But she was in there eating food. I had no idea where she was. She's so little. And Oreo has already been outside for a poopy break. But I think he's been eating cat poop. Little bastard. Yup. Alrighty, well, I needed to edit my vlog because that wasn't done. Assuming kitten is nowhere to be seen. I don't want these guys going in the bedroom when I'm not in there. And I have no idea where the heck oh, there she is. I guess her and Oreo are playing. She does this funny thing where if Oreo's just sitting down wagging his tail, she'll just attack his tail because it looks like a little popple on his bum. Right, buddy? 
and uh, yeah. Oh, she's like, I don't want that thing. He's so scary. He's so scary, eh? He's a scary guy, isn't he? You scared of the puppy? Are you scared of the puppy? Are you gonna attack my hand? Yeah, you're gonna attack my hand. <laughs> yeah, you're so little. I can't wait for you to grow up and be big like Felix is. Oh, there's a tail. <laughs> she caught the ball. She was gonna swing. But uh, I need to rock a piss and head out to the garage and do some manipulations. I put some cookies up here, and I guess she found them because they're gone. Look at her. Look at her. She climbs up on Oreo's crate to get up there now. Yeah, you're just crazy. I wish I would have filmed that. And she can't get down. I'm not too worried. She can get that on the chair. On the chair. Don't attack my. I need that. <laughs> Little punk. Look at her. <laughs> Meow. That's not the easiest thing to hang on to. <laughs> uh, no, no, kitty. Oh my god. She took a swing at me and fell off. No, ow, 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 ha, ow. <laughs> oh my god, this hurts. She's like going right through the dead. I'm right to my leg. Urgh, what are you doing? No, get down. Here. Get on the chair. Get on the chair. Jesus. I hate when she does that. That friggin' sucks so much. And this is the problem with night. Like, this is why I don't let her in the bedroom at night. Because she's a little crazy. Now she's playing on my shoes. Like, she's so crazy that she won't let me sleep. Excuse me, I need those. Hey, bugger off. Oh, boy. No, don't do that. No, just, oh, no, get off me, get off me. That's right, Oreo, keep her off me. Good boy. No. And she... Oh, I thought she was going back up on the, uh, the thing. No, you go away. You want to go to your bed. Go to your bed. Go to your bed. Go to your bed. Ooh, this is your puppy. See, she just climbed up there again. She's a little ninja. A little crazy ninja. <laughs> but uh, I need to go out to the garage and get shit done. So let's give her. I wonder if this thing still works. See if we can get her to light. Hmm. Oh yeah, she's lit. I think she's lit. Alright, well, see if we can get her to actually light and throw some heat. <sighs> my leg is so sore right now from that cat climbing it. She goes right through the denim, right into my skin every frickin' time, and it really sucks. Well, it is running, so I wonder if you need a, if you can put new wicks in these, like if you need to do that over time or or what. I don't really know much about this unit. I should uh, look it up, the KC1100 by Caro World, and just see if you need to like replace the wicks and stuff. But you know, she'll light, and we'll see if she can uh, throw off some heat in this garage. But basically, what I need to do is I need to get that blower out here. So I need to move this motorbike. First, what I want to do actually is I'm going to put the barbecue back to where it was, which is out of my way. The other thing I want to do is get this flywheel off the fucking ground. Something that should have been done a long time ago. We'll just set that up here on the steering wheel for now. Yeah. Oh boy. Because we got some snow drifts coming in there. You can sort of see. And here too. So I want to get this barbecue out of the freaking way completely. Just fire that over there in the corner. Oh, those curtain rods, probably toss those up top, but I want to move this mower forward and then back this one out and get it as snug over here as possible and then maybe, just maybe, I might be able to park this mower back there beside that one giving me this whole front area open to do stuff. So, is this actually producing any heat yet? Oh, it's producing a little bit of heat. The thing is, is I can't see the flames like I used to. That one. We'll let that heat up. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at how red it's getting now. Beauty plan. So, um, yeah, that's the battle plan. I'm going to move the mowers around and get things going, so let's get moving on that. All right, there we go. The romper, the mower, the motorbike, the snowblower. Yeah, everything's all moved into possession. I don't know how we're doing for fuel on this thing. Eh, she's got some gas in there. Oh, she's stinky. Probably not the best kind of gas, but uh, there we go. Put the cover back on it. The fuel is currently turned off. I'm not going to bother trying to cold start it because I don't plan on using it tonight. But uh, tomorrow I'll turn the fuel back on, which is done right here. Just crank that on and then fuel goes rushing in and primer a couple thousand times and 
choke it and give her the old uh, the old rip snot, and then uh, you're golden. Freaking go and blow your driveway. Hell's yeah. But I don't really care to do that tonight, so it's too late. I don't want to piss off my neighbors, even though they're all moving away. But uh, I don't want to piss them off. I'm not that kind of a guy. But uh, yeah. So I'm pretty much done out here. I'm gonna head her back inside now. I thought this was gonna take longer. Apparently not. So you, you die in a fire. I actually uh, helped out in here. It actually feels a little warmer. I can still see my breath, but uh, whatevs. Whatevs indeed. You can only do so much in a semi-insulated garage. See, semi-insulated, it's insulated here. But you get up there and it's not, which is stupid. Stupid design, but whatever. Anyway, you know, I really cared about this back in the day when we did live shows out here in the garage because uh, we never did them in the house on the counter. We couldn't smoke in the house, but now we're all in the vape and uh, I don't have uh, a girlfriend living there to bitch me out when I have friends over. So fucking win-win. Perfect. So something else I want to do one of these days. Actually, I might do that today. I'm tempted to bring this thing in the house and see if it actually works. This Macintosh. I think it does. No, I don't feel like doing that today. Fuck it. I think it still works. It's a 400 megahertz or 300 megahertz or 200 megahertz, I don't know. Power PC running Tiger or something like that. Running a real old version of Mac. Got it off Garrett, never did anything with it. Just kind of let it sit there and fester. So anyway, let's go inside. I'm done dicking around out here. Bring it. Cool. Windy wind is windy. Oh, she's so frisky. All she wants to do is fight me. Doopy 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 Ah Jesus not again Oh god that hurt She goes too far with her claws I can't wait for her to be declawed No more of that nonsense Well anyway people I'm gonna head her upstairs Probably gonna call this a quits and edit this all up and fire it up to YouTube's freak's sakes I almost stepped on her Anyway people that's your typical Monday so hopefully you enjoyed it if you did click that like button and until next time Keep on vlogging.